back to my channel, Purple on 3 here. I'd like to thank you for stopping by today. Today it is rainy in western Pennsylvania and I can't go for a ride. So I thought I would take this opportunity to show you some of the storage capacity of my 2018 Can-Am Spider F3 Limited. So what I'm doing is getting ready to go on another spider adventure. Uh, we went to VAM in June in Tazewell, Virginia, and for those of you who couldn't make it, guess what? There's going to be another VAM put on by Mr. G1965 and 10 Rides. Check out their channels. I want to show you, like I said, some of the storage capacity of my 2018 Can-Am Spider F3 Limited. Now, just like other motorcycles, different Can-Ams hold a different amount. So the Limited and maybe the RT Limited are the, the two top dogs they are going to hold the most. On paper, this one holds 36 and a half gallons. And if you compare that to the Harley, 28, Tommy G's 2018 Harley Ultra Limited, he's got about six and a half gallons less than, than I do. And I'm guessing that is because of the front compartment. I don't know if you know there is a compartment on a spider in the front that ho actually holds stuff. It's called the frunk. Get it? Frunk. Front. Trunk. Frunk. So I'll show you later what all we can put in there. But you say to yourself, or I say to myself, okay, so what is 36 and a half gallons? What, what exactly is that? Well, I'm going to show you what all you can take on your Can-Am Spider F3 Limited, say for a two week trip, I can get everything that I absolutely need on here. As a female rider, uh, and my fellow female riders know, maybe we need a few extra things, things that some of the guys don't necessarily bring along, like makeup and maybe jewelry, maybe an extra pair of shoes. And also, you don't want to fill your compartments completely full because you want to leave room for some souvenirs, you know? <laughs> and sometimes, guess what? I even find some of Tommy G's stuff on my spider. Maybe an extra pair of shoes or boots. Yeah, mm-hmm. All right, so let's get started and I'll show you what all this puppy holds. These are my side bags. There's one on each side, obviously. This one I have my rain gear, and I'm going to take everything out when we're done here and lay it on my six foot table so you can see everything that is in here. These I believe hold uh, 14 gallons, and this trunk holds 16 gallons. So, this has my, back, my rider bag backpack, and it holds all my clothes that I need for a two week period. Um, plus I have another bag here with just some miscellaneous things, but it's nice to keep it all together. Now, Can-Am does make luggage just like Harley and other motorcycles that, you know, fit right into these compartments, but I figured out that I don't really need to do that. I can, I can do it this way and it works just fine. Now over here in this side bag, I got shoes, makeup, toiletries. Uh, yeah, that's what I have there. Um, also, there's a little glove box, and I learned this the hard way. Oh, I hope it's here. <laughs> the last time we were at VAM, I kept losing my Easy Pass I, because there's so many compartments on here. So I finally learned to put it in one spot and keep it there. Because one of the uh, places that we went through the toll booth, they actually had us show them the Easy Pass, and I didn't know where mine was. All right, so the front opens with your key. You turn it to the left and there's a little click there. And in here I have some more stuff. I have Crocs and you got to make use of everything guys. Tuck stuff into your shoes, whatever. And this is a bag of, of things, uh, clothing. So I'll show you everything. Jackets and then I have my little air compressor in case there's a flat. A little tool kit down in there. And uh, a few miscellaneous things. All right, so I want to show you how I like to travel. I like to be able to take off my gear and store it, my helmet, in the trunk 
when we stop places so that I don't have to lug it along. So I'm going to show you how I, how I do that. It's pretty easy. Straps hooked on here. So I just sit this back here. This is my, my rider bag and this is the cover you put on to make it water resistant. And then I would just use my straps here to hook hook it on to here and then it's perfectly secure so that leaves me all this space back here so I can put my shirt my pants and my helmet and I'm going to take that off and put it in there and show you how I can fit that in there easily so this is what I like to ride in shorts if it's warm or pants if it's cooler uh, and I like to be able to take my pants off when we stop so I'm really nice and cool. So as you can see, I have that bag I showed you with my miscellaneous. This is my Bond body armor. And check this out. It, I've had this, I just discovered it like a month ago that I have a light back here in the trunk. I did not know that. The key has to be and it has to be turned on. So here are my pants. i put them in there. And there. I'm ready to go wherever we're going. Now, if you have, if you're riding two up, of course, this is gonna be a whole different situation for you because um, you have to share the space. So I can only speak for a solo rider. Now I'm gonna show you on our table every single thing I was able to put on here for this two week trip, okay? So, you know, if you are riding two up on a spider, Maybe your husband should go by his own so you can each have your own and then you have lots of storage space. Is that a spider tip? That's a spider tip, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, we're going to show you everything that was on the Can-Am Spider F3 Limited. And guess what? I thought it would fit on one table, but as you can see here, it required two tables and it took a while to get all this out. So starting with the clothing, I have about seven short sleeve shirts, pair of shorts, pair of jeans, workout clothes, pajamas, three long sleeve shirts, roughly 10 undergarments. Um, something I do wanna say about this is when we went on our last 12 day trip, we found out you really don't need to take all this. This is still too much stuff because almost every place we stayed had a guest laundry facility. So I did laundry a couple times. Didn't even come home with hardly any dirty clothes. So, and of course you wanna make sure you have room for the souvenirs, right? So all of this from here over to, well not, not this, but all of this was in my wonderful rider bag backpack. It really holds a lot. Even my, my laptop it has a spot back here. It's padded where you can put the laptop. So everything fit in there, my chargers, uh, GoPro case, everything. This is my jewelry, an extra fl flashlight. This was in my glove box, my um, GPS, my Easy Pass, maybe uh, gum and hand sanitizer. That's always a good thing to have. All right, so then, um, I also have my riding gear. Like I said, I like to be able to store it on the bike when I'm not wearing it and we are stopped somewhere. Toiletries, I have some uh, gaiters. This one is from Candy Cane who rides a Riker and this is from Harley Girl who rides a Road Glide and of course we can't forget my Ride Spider Motorcycle Rock that Harley Girl made me. Gotta have that. So I keep that in the glove box too. Uh, what else we got here? Some, oh, my journals. This was from Moto Weasel 66 and Candy Cane. It's a motorcycle trip journal. And this is my devotional journal. I have a little first aid kit and I've got to have stickers, wallet, wipes, uh, Crocs with my eyeglass cases. One of these is a pair of sunglasses, rain gear, two pair of gloves. Got to have extra gloves just in case. Makeup, that's essential. Snacks water, uh, cleaning product for your windshield, spray cleaner, that's Honda spray cleaner. Now usually on our wind, that I use on the bike, but usually on the windshield we use, I use Plexus, so does Tommy G. Um, some sweatshirts, 
Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, the air compressor, little toolkit. This fits under the seat, but I have it in my front. Emergency light there, you know, if you're having a, you know, a problem. It's a magnetic different settings Ooh, I don't even know how to turn that thing off <laughs> it's gonna go on forever okay well maybe I just keep pressing it look at all those settings everybody and a flashlight look at that would you just look at that oh my gosh okay there we go all right uh, I think that's that's everything uh, one last thing I wanted to show you guys um, these are of course folding chairs and I just wanted to show you how easy these are to haul on a spider too. Just strap them on. I actually did this when we went to the super bike races and we needed a place to sit so you could take them to a picnic. I mean obviously I'm not taking them on a long trip but they're really easy. You just get the straps out and hook them on and there you go. So guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. I like to answer all of them. I like to converse with everybody. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. It's free. And as always, remember to begin each day with gratitude. Bye for now. So you know how they say you take everything but the kitchen sink. You can take all this stuff, but the only thing you can't take is the dog. <laughs> Do you want to go? Do you want to go for a ride? You want to go for a walk, huh? Well, it's thundering out. We can't go there now. I'm sorry. I think she would go on the spiders. She has some goggles like some of those other pups. I think she would go. She rides on the golf cart. She rides on the tractor. I think she would go on the spiders.